What up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about in ears. Which in ear monitors should you use? But first, I'm going to tell you which in ear monitors I use. I get this question all the time, almost every day. Somebody asks me, what in ear monitors do I use? I'm using Dream Ears monitors. I've been using these ears for like over a decade. So Mitch hit me up one day. Like I said, this was like 13 years ago. He hit me up. He did my first impressions at Bush Gardens. I don't even know what I was doing over there. I think I had a gig or something or that's just where I could meet him at at the time. And he did my impressions that day. They were a brand new company. He had just started. First monitors I did get, this side, it didn't go all the way in. And when I pushed it in, it hurt. So. I felt like he just went too hard on this side and this side, it was perfect. But every time I got a pair, bro, it got better and better and better. And like, I have no problems, no issues. And if I do, I send it right to him because he is right in St. Pete. I'm in Tampa. So yeah, that works out even better. So every time I have had an issue, like me stepping on my ears and cracking them or ripping the cable out, I can send it to him real quick, boom. He get it back to me in a great time. And if you guys are looking for in-ear monitors, you should check out Dream Ears. This is not no sponsored video. Like I tell everybody all the time, but I get this question so much that I decided to make a video about it. But Dream Ears monitors, they fire. I love them and I know you will too. So many in ears out there. I mean, you can go on Amazon right now and type in in ears. Matter of fact, let's talk about that. I did go on Amazon and I typed in some in ears just to use, just at the house, just to keep at the house as a backup. And I bought these, these right here. That was a horrible decision because these in ears are trash. I don't even know how they got four and a half stars. Like how? I mean, I know they only nineteen dollars, but they have four and a half stars. They got. A bunch of people talking about how good they are, how good they sound, the bass, all this stuff. I even saw some YouTubers talking about these in-ears. Bro, they trash. I, I'm not gonna lie, they trash. I do see the ZS10 Pro, the Pro Dynamic. I probably should have got one of them, but honestly, I just feel like they wouldn't be any better. Wearing in-ears, you're gonna protect your ears. You gotta protect your ears. I know some old heads, bro. They be yelling all the time when you're talking to them. They gotta get real close to you so you can hear like, Bro, they ears jacked up because they've been playing guitar amps, playing with no ears, bass, drums, everything's just loud. Guitar's loud, keyboard's loud, singing loud, ears are just done. I don't want my ears to be like that. But like I said, you can go on Amazon and get some in-ears, but it's a lot of companies on Instagram. If you've got a solid following, people will hit you up and send you free in-ears. You can probably get some of these free. That's on Amazon. Companies hit me up all the time by getting free in-ears, but like I'm good. Like I don't need in ears. I already got three pair here. But yeah, those right there, I would not recommend. Now I have used the Shure in ears. These are like generic, but everybody has them. Like if you do any gig, like if you lose your ears or your ears go out, this is what they're gonna give you. Even some, a lot of churches, they carry them just as backups. They use them for like the praise team. Everybody always have these ears. And honestly, I like these ears. A lot of people don't like them. I like them. I've used them before. They sound good. They isolate everything. I don't hear no outside noise when I'm moving and doing this because I be playing. When I'm playing, I'm doing this a lot. And I don't want to hear, I don't want my ears moving. Like my ears right now, they're not moving. They're not doing nothing. So when I'm playing and I'm really into the groove, I don't want these coming loose and then I'm hearing outside noise. Like, no, I don't, I don't want that. So at the end of the day, I would say get these short in-ears right here or just something you can afford at the time. But if you are in the market looking for some in-ears, there's plenty of companies out there, like I said, that can give you some in-ears for free. But yeah, that's what I think about getting in-ear monitors. Just, it's the best way to protect your ears. Number one, get what you can afford. And if you do got a big budget, invest in some good in-ears, man, that you can use for a long time. Because I'm telling you right now, it's amazing to have good in-ears that fit well and sound good. Once again, I use Dream Air monitors, but like I said, you can go check out a bunch of other companies because there's so many out there. But yeah, that's my take on it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Catch y'all boys in the next one.